Hey y'all, it's Brady. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are brand new here, hi, hello, welcome. We are a family of four. It is myself, my husband, our six-year-old and three-year-old girls. And today's video is going to be pretty short and sweet, but I just wanted to give y'all an update on the semester and kind of what's going on in life and chit chat. So, um, my plan is for it to be brief, but we'll see. Um, I am sitting in the pickup line here at, um, my youngest is preschool. And so I thought, you know what? I got a few minutes to kill sitting here and I'll chit chat with you. So, um, you know, I really should have somewhere to like prop this up. So I apologize if it's shaky cause I didn't bring a tripod with me. Um, but anyways, so, um, the fall 2020 semester has wrapped up for me and, um, for college. And so, um, yeah, I only t ended up taking two classes this semester and I am really, really glad that I dropped from four to two classes and just went part-time this semester because it has proven to be quite the semester, um, just in life. So we all know 2020 is crazy and we have not, you know, we're not immune to 2020 is all I have to say about that, I guess. Um, but so I ended up taking a first aid and safety class, which should have given me a CPR and first aid certification as well. But I am going to, I have had to postpone my in-person certification for that because it all went online. And then my second class that I took was um, intro to theater. So both pretty easy classes or should have been the first aid and safety class was very straightforward and easy. Um, but a lot of good information and that teacher was incredible, incredible, incredible. She is just phenomenal at connecting with students and being personable and making the information, you know, relatively fun to learn. And so I'm just really thankful that I had her as a teacher. Um, my theater teacher <laughs> leaves much to be desired. I guess is the best way to put that. Um, I still don't know what I actually made on my final paper for that class or my um, final little like drawing project we had to turn in. Uh, he never posted those grades. And then it locks us out of our online classes on December 11th at the 11.59 uh, p.m. And so that came and went and I still never got an email telling me what I made. Never heard anything back from him. The last thing that we even heard from him on the class was November 7th, November 19th. He posted that he was having like computer issues, I guess. Um, and then it had been a month before that since we had heard from him. And uh, he was very, I don't know. One of those people that like, Y'all, this is an intro to theater class. Why are we trying to act like it's something else uh, when it's not? And then he just made it way more difficult than it had to be. And um, I, although I don't know those grades, the final grades had to be posted yesterday, I believe, for the college so that we could see them. So it was a different platform. So I couldn't see like my individual grades for the classes, but I could see my um, final grade for that course. So for both courses. So I did end up with an A for first aid and uh, safety. And then I did end up with an A for my theater class. That's great. They're both easy classes and should have been A's. But um, I've known that I had like a 98 um, for my first aid class. But I don't know what the actual final number grade was or some of those individual grades for the theater class because he never told us. Now, if there has been some sort of family issue or something, you know, devastating, then I apologize for sounding so crass, but no one informed us of that. We were just like left to our own devices to figure it out. And, um, you know, so I don't know that. If that had been the case, I'd have every bit of grace in the world, but you better believe he wouldn't open quizzes for us or let us turn in items late. And so, but he he took a month, over a month to grade 
um, a paper that we had turned in halfway through the semester, but wouldn't accept it a minute after 3 p.m. And um, then we never saw our grades for the end of the final projects and stuff. So it's just kind of like, really, you can take all the time in the world. You can do what you want to do. You've got all kinds of excuses, but there's no even human level leeway for people taking the class doing the work so I just have little very little respect for that and I will say part of that in my opinion part of that problem is the school because the school is um, a community college where I'm at right now and they are only hot they are oh, most of our teachers are adjunct teachers so they're they're part-time employees their hours are not guaranteed they um, don't have any sort of tenure they don't have any kind of guarantee semester to semester so all of these people end up working for, you know, full-time jobs as well, 40 hours a week, plus teaching three or four or five classes, and it's too much. It's too much. They shouldn't be doing that. They can't handle it. And I've seen that with another teacher that I had a few semesters ago. She couldn't handle it either. So, I mean, it just, that's what it is. They just can't handle it. Um, and so we're really getting the crap into the deal on that. Um, I'm going to, the line is moving, so I'm about to have to get off here, but, um, I will say also that my, um, I did get A's in both of those. I have submitted my applications for two different nursing programs. The one at my school I'm currently at, which is an ADN nursing program as my, I'll come out with an RN. And then I've also applied for an LPN program that's just a one-year program, so we'll see. They don't make their decisions until um, like March or April, so that'll take a while. Um, but I'll update y'all as I know. Um, the girls are going to distance learning. They This was already supposed to be their last week of school before they were off for like two and a half weeks for Christmas break anyways. Um, but they announced last night that today would be their last in-person day and they are going to distance learning Wednesday through Friday of this week and then we don't know what's gonna happen when we return from Christmas break. So uh, that should be interesting. But I think that's everything for now. I'm sure that there's more and we'll chit chat later, but I just wanted to give y'all a semester update, kind of let y'all know what was going on. But thank y'all so much for joining me. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how y'all are doing and what's going on in your lives. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye y'all.